God, thank you for that. Well, this afternoon, KTK News was made aware of an incident that happened at Robert E. Lee High School in Tyler. It happened on Monday. A handwritten drawing was found, and according to Tyler ISD police, it's very concerning. KTK's Kara Pritchard looked into the story today. She now joins us live with more on this. Well, Kara, what can you tell us so far? Well, Neil, what was on that drawing, we can't disclose. However, sources tell us it is a plan for a possible shooting. Now, I spoke to a parent this afternoon who says even if it is just a prank, it's not something to take lightly. Tuesday was a normal day at Robert E. Lee High School. However, around noon, the principal sent out an email to parents stating, quote, First, Robert E. Lee High School is not currently in lockdown and has not been all day. Second, the campus is not under any imminent threat at this time. While it may not be an immediate threat, Tyler ISD police are on alert. You know, even if it was somebody making a joke or whatever, it's too, it's too serious. Monday afternoon, a student found a handwritten note on the floor and gave it to a teacher. It uh, has a drawing on it that concerns us. Uh, there's no specifics as to when something's supposed to happen, what date, what time, anything like that. It was just very concerning. Tyler ISD cannot confirm details of what is on the drawing because it's under investigation. However, sources tell us it involves a plan for a possible shooting. It's something that you have to really know, at least what's happening. Ma Hernandez has a son attending Lee. She says with chaos already happening around the country. You cannot take it in, just lay down. Go and get the truth. What's happening? These, these jokes, they're no good. And now that's what Tyler ISD is working to find out. That's you know part of the investigation now. Go back and look at all the students in her classroom to try to determine uh, who wrote it. Now, Chief Brown did let Tyler police know what is going on if in case they do need assistance. However, right now he says everyone on campus should feel safe. Reporting live in Tyler, Kara Pritchard, KETK News. Kara, thank you for that. Up next on our update, several have